Freshly Baked Pie, written by Laura Rosler, illustrated by Daniela Vasquez. Dedicated to my siblings, Tal, Janet, and Johnny. Childhood would not have been as sweet without you. It's not easy being five. Bouncing pigtails, colorful dresses, candy and ice cream. It's not at all how it seems. The truth is not that simple, you see. Early to bed when the sun is still out. Cleaning your room when you just want to play. Waiting your turn when you have something to say. I just don't get it. Why all the rules? Nope, it's not easy. Thank goodness today's Saturday. That's my favorite day. Saturday is when Grandma Betsy comes over, which also means one very important thing. I tiptoe down the stairs, and that's when I see it. Freshly baked pie sitting perfectly still on the windowsill. Delicious aroma pulling me in. Stay away, Emily, Mom warns. Don't touch it, Dad quickly adds. But how can I not? It's staring at me straight in the eye. I come closer, just to look. Really, I promise. Strawberry jam oozing and teasing. Buttery crust calling my name. Touch me, it says. Eat me, it dares. Oh, this is not fair. Not a bit, not at all. I'm hardly a match. So harmless and small. I take a step forward. Stop all the chatter. I beg and I plead, but it won't hear nor care what I say. Instead, it mocks me in its heartless way. Just a little taste, it whispers. Surely no one will notice. I think I see a tear fall. I don't want to be rude or hurt the pie's feelings. I'll hold it. I'll hug it. I'll make it feel better. Strawberry pie, my kind of treat. Mouth-watering, warm, gooey, and sweet. Heavenly pie, not too soft, not too crunchy. With every bite, I'm delighted, and it urges me more. Uh-oh, I hear Dad's footsteps. Mom's shoes tap the floor. I'm in trouble, I think. Accusing eyes find me down below. Oh no, the disappointed head tilt. Emily Rose, what have you done? Out comes the scolding finger. Now we have nothing for Grandma. Oh my, this is all the pie's fault. No pie for Grandma. What have I done? I ate the whole pie, and now she'll have none. I will fix this somehow. I really must try. Mom, Dad, we can bake a new pie. Hands on the hips, eyes on the clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Out comes the bowl, and in goes the flour. Dash of salt, cup of sugar, big chunk of butter, water and jam, strawberries too, the crust and the filling. Oh my, lots to do. I mix and I mash while it sticks to my fingers. I squeeze and I mold. What a crumbly paste. Pounding and rolling, cutting and stirring. Who knew that a pie could be so much work? At last, into the oven it goes. The doorbell rings. Yoo-hoo! Grandma sings. This can't be happening. Don't let it be true. The pie's not ready and the kitchen's a zoo. I clean up the mess as quick as can be. No way to undo this. No way I can see. What will I do? What will I say? Surely she'll wonder why I'm so sad today. Grandma steps in. I spy her red shoes. I can't look in her eyes. She won't be amused. With a cheer in her voice and a box held up high, Who's up for some freshly baked pie? Oh, oh my. Nope, I told you. 
It's not easy being five.